Hello everybody, Amanda Davis here, Avon Independent Sales Representative, and I wanted to come on really quickly for a quick tip video for Campaign 16 2019, which of course we are already in Campaign 16, and we have a week left for selling it, um, particularly for online orders, but also some of you may still place your order. Um, campaign 16 orders to count for Campaign 16 have to be placed by Tuesday, July 23rd at um, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, but so campaign 16, as you guys know, is the launch of the new lip tattoo. So I'm sure um, many Avon representatives, you've either tried the lip tattoo at this point or you are going to get it to try it or you maybe have um, already started to have some orders for it. You maybe also have been seeing lots of other representatives talking about it. So the lip tattoo, um, it's two-in-one lip tattoo, and in the What's New, it's saying why we love it. All day wear, no smudging, feathering, or budging, semi-permanent lip stain, weightless pigment, infused with sunflower seed oil to help hydrate the lips, paraben, gluten. Um, it's spelled P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E. i um, not quite sure how to say that. <laughs> and sulfate-free. And also vegan-friendly. Um, so the lip tattoos come in sh six shades. So it's Misunderstood Merlot, Pin Up Plum, and then I have the other four, which are Renegade Ruby, which should be this one. Yeah, when it, Renegade Ruby, and then Rebel Raspberry, Inked Rose, and Gnarly Nude. So I am currently wearing Rebel Raspberry. Um, so let me just go ahead and kind of show you. So you see the color on my lips. <laughs> um, you start by lining the lips with the liner part of it. And then you fill in with the filler part of it. Um, Avon also says that these are best stored um, sideways. And the reason being because there's only one cartridge inside. And so when you store it sideways like this, um, it holds the color a little better versus you know one side or the other um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and use the line part of it to show you um, actually that's the wrong end <laughs> use the line part of it to show you a little bit of a swatch so um, again this shade is the renegade ruby So you can see that's kind of like, a, um, there, that's a little bit better, a true red type color. And then if you like darker red colors, the Renegade, um, or excuse me, hold on. I was just showing Rebel Raspberry. I think I said the wrong thing. So Rebel Raspberry is what I'm wearing, and Rebel Raspberry is like a true red. And then Renegade Ruby is another true red, but this one is actually darker. So this one is the Rebel Raspberry. This one is the Renegade um, Ruby. Hello, thank you to all live viewers and replay watchers. Um, and then, where did the other ones go? They rolled away. Here they are. Inked Rose is a pinker color, but it's a darker pink. So there's the inked rose. And then the last one, last but not least, is the gnarly nude, which basically um, it's kind of like a pinkish coral color, but it is like a true lip type thing too. Um, so on my lips, it's kind of like a regular lip color, but it's a little darker. But I will say like when I wore the gnarly nude, I mean, I noticed it and I knew it was on, 
but nobody really like said too much to me. This is the gnarly nude right here, this big one. <laughs> um, but then like when I had on the inked rose, everybody was like, oh, I love your, you know, your lipstick, your wear lipstick today. Um, and then, all right, now I'm wearing, like I said, the Renegade Ruby, I mean the Renegade, hold on. Right now I am wearing the Rebel Raspberry. <laughs> There's Renegade Ruby and Rebel Raspberry. Right now I am wearing the Rebel Raspberry. Um, those two I've only worn at home, so nobody's really like told me too much about it yet, but, um, but I do know that, um, so, you know, your Rebel Raspberry, Renegade Ruby, you're both going to be reds. Inked Rose is more of a pink color, and then the Gnarly Nude is the nude color, and then the two I don't have, Pin Up Plum and, and Misunderstood Merlot, are purple colors. Um, but anyway, I have been using the lip tattoos, and for me, I found that they do last. Um, yes, the color may fade a little bit throughout the day, but there's still colors there, which is, um, you know, like for me, regular lipstick, even regular Avon lipstick, if I put it on within a couple hours, well, and usually like within the hour, it's gone. Um, and you have to keep reapplying it, reapplying it throughout the day. Whereas the lip tattoo, you know, you do that once in the morning and then throughout the day as you eat and drink and do whatever, like it may fade a little bit, but you're still going to have color at the end of the day, or at least in my experience, I did. And Avon was saying that for the best bet with that to exfoliate your lips before you put it on, and they were saying even if you just like take a wet wash rag and rub it over your lips, you know, get some exfoliation in there. Because when you exfoliate your lips, the lip tattoo is going to last longer um, than if you didn't exfoliate your lips. And then I also noticed, like, if I didn't put anything over the lip tattoo, it was a little bit more likely to last a little longer versus, like, when I put um, the vitamin C lip thing or the um, uh, Beyond Color um, lip conditioner or something like that, or gloss or whatever, if you're putting stuff over it, that's going to kind of let it not last but so long also. Um, but you can kind of play with it and have fun, and, and it's fun. Um, and, you know, for the customer price right now, $8.99, that's a great deal for something that's going to last a long time. And um, it's going to be regular cost of $11. But anyway, so lip tattoos are going to be fun fun to promote, fun to show off, um, and they're even kind of talking about doing a selfie with it and everything, and I know Avon has a challenge out there right now for representatives, and there's also the Avon Social Sweepstakes, um, so a lot going on with the lip tattoo and promoting the lip tattoo, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. And then there is some relaxing fashion, <laughs> um, athleisure, I guess is what you would call it fashion in the um, campaign 16 brochure so you can see I'm wearing the boss life shirt um, there's also the all I need is coffee and mascara shirt and I got that too and then there's a couple of other plain shirts um, the everyday duster pullover um, well it's not a pullover but the everyday duster like jacket thing um, and then there's a two pack of flip flops there's some leggings um, there is some fun new jewelry, and there's some more new jewelry, um, so, and then there's also, for a limited time, Campaign 16 has the Wild Country Aftershave Splash, um, so there is, um, And then, of course, the A-Box for your customers, too. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> um, yeah, there is a lot of pretty jewelry. And also, I appreciate that you say that the tips are helpful. So that's great. Um, so anyway, 
um, wrapping this up, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the lip tattoo for campaign 16 is definitely going to be a major thing that you want to show customers. And then, um, you know, just like I've talked about before with like fashion and jewelry, demoing it and showing it is all going to be things that get you to, um, have your customers get to be, um, more likely to buy fashion and jewelry and that type of thing. And then the lip tattoos, I mean, I would just encourage customers to try it. Remind them of the 100% money back guarantee um, with our products. And if you have used it, definitely talk about it and let, um, yeah, um, I like it too, Lindsay. <laughs> um, you know, if you have used the lip tattoo, definitely talk about it with your customers and, um, you know, let them know that um, it is a new product of Avon's and, and remind them of the 100% money back guarantee if for some reason they get it and they don't really like it. Um, and then you kind of can talk to your customers to remind them it is gonna be a more bolder type um, lip shade. All of them are bold. Um, but if they're looking for something that's not gonna be with so bold, I would recommend the Gnarly Nude because um, that one is definitely like the least bold of all of them. And so, you know, this is the gnarly nude right here. And then the inked rose is also not but so powerful, but the rest of them definitely are. Renegade, um, Ruby, and Rebel Raspberry that I was trying to mix, mix up. <laughs> um, those two are like true deep reds. And then the um, Misunderstood Merlot and the Pen Up Plum that I don't have, those ones are also like true, you know, like wine Merlot type colors. Um, yeah, Lindsay, that's a great idea, you know, kind of talking about the shades and just sharing, you know, your notes on them and your favorite. And um, and if you want to go ahead and invest that, that's a great idea. I personally decided to get these four um, and skipped out on Misunderstood Merlot and Pen Up Plum because I know I would never wear those. <laughs> um, and while I'm less likely to wear the uh, Renegade Ruby and Rebel Raspberry. I do every once in a while decide that I want to put on a bold red lip like I have on now. Um, this one is the Rebel Raspberry. I kept mixing it up earlier, but this one is the um, the Rebel Raspberry is, is what I'm wearing. Um, and so I do every once in a while like to do that bold red lip, particularly on the weekend or if I'm going out somewhere or something like that. And so, um, you know, I do um, every once in a while. So I know I could get some use out of these. And then I've actually been wearing Gnarly Nude and Inked Rose a couple times, but more so Gnarly Nude to work. Um, so, you know, I think that's, um, but, you know, so I like to get products that I know I'm going to use myself. And so that's why I said I skipped out on the Misunderstood Merlot and the Pen Up Plum. But definitely there have been a lot of representatives out there doing live videos and sharing the, the new shades with their customers. And, um, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to have the, you know, idea of the lip tattoo and, and um, how long will it last and, t and stuff like that um, type things going out there. So lip tattoo, you definitely don't want to miss out on promoting that. And then also, like I said, you know, there is the comfortable fashion stuff like hashtag boss life and all I need is coffee and mascara and, and those fun little type things. And then, um, of course, jewelry and stuff too. And really what you kind of have to do any campaign is think about, well, what new products do you want to talk about? So the lip tattoo. And then also, you know, what what do you know about your customers and your individual customers? What products are top selling products for you? What products do your customers want in the summer? Bug Guard, Skin So Soft, um, probably moisture therapy still because I mean you wanna stay moisturized in the summer. What skincare products, what, um, what, um, you know, like Footworks is really big this time of year because everybody wants to have their feet you know, ready for the summer and ready for sandals and stuff. So it's really about promoting the types of things that you like, promoting what your customers like, and then knowing your individual customers and, you know, letting them know when stuff is on sale and stuff like that so you can follow up with your individual customers. And then knowing your customers that might be interested to try the lip tattoo. Um, know your customers that, you know, maybe they um, – are always makeup customers or maybe they're always lipstick customers 
or maybe they're customers that maybe they've mentioned to you before about having something that's longer lasting and you could let them know, hey, I know you really wanted something that was longer lasting. You should try out our new look tattoo. Um, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your comments, Lindsay. And also thank you to all of the other live, because I'm not sure it was just her popping in and out. So thank you to all the other live viewers as well as the replay viewers. And as always, um, I hope you do find my tips um, useful. I mean, I'm telling you things I'm planning to do myself or that I do do myself. Um, and also, you know, just... Um, biggest thing with preparing for a campaign is to pay attention to the what's new pay attention to Avon has the campaign insider which campaign 16 is up um, they did it on Tuesday if you go to the Avon USA Facebook page you can see it there um, you can also get to it from the avonnow.com website if you go to the um, I think it's under it's across the top I think it's under news and then campaign insider um, but anyway so, you know, you want to pay attention to what Avon is wanting you to promote as well as what is it that you want to promote. And I know what we were taught um, originally when I first started Avon was what's the front cover hot item? What is the back cover item? So, of course, that's lately been the A-boxes. Um, and though the back cover item is supposed to be like kind of a add-on, like do you want fries with that type thing? And then the um, whatever's in the middle. So wild country is in the middle. So you can maybe get some male customers with the wild country. And also, if you had customers that were disappointed about the aftershaves being gone and stuff, let them know that, hey, the aftershave splash is back for a limited time, um, but it's limited edition aftershave splash. And so I do have one customer in particular that I have to reach out for to let her know that that's going on. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see everybody with my next video. Bye, guys. Thanks again.